you don't have an Instagram page yet, at the end of this video, go and create one. If you have one, but you're not getting the results that you are wanting, check out these tips on how to grow your beauty business on Instagram. Let's go over the basics of Instagram first. With Facebook, you have a little bit more room to maybe get people to go to your website or to get a teaser that takes them out of that platform and goes to your website and goes to other places. With Instagram, is a little bit more tricky. When you're scrolling down your Instagram feed, all you see are images. Think about this, Instagram is visual. In order to stand out on Instagram, you need to post things that are really visually appealing. Go to your Instagram feed right now, scroll through, and see what pictures are you attracted to. For the beauty business, is all about creating stunning pictures. Instagram gives you a chance to showcase your work. If you have a nail department, encourage people to take a picture of their nails after and post them in your Instagram. If you do hair, take a before and after and post it on Instagram. A few things that you have to be mindful of, your cell phone can probably take stunning pictures. Just make sure you have proper lightning and proper angles. You don't need to be a photographer, just be mindful of not cutting anyone's heads off and not trying to take pictures in a really dark room. If your room is really dark, you can go to your lobby or even go outside to take some pictures of the hair or the nails or before and after a facial. Just put the light that you use for the facials a little closer and take that picture. If you do eyebrows, take a before and after of those eyebrows. Just create stunning pictures that can really take it to the next level and that's the way you can stand out on Instagram. If you're having trouble trying to think about what to post on Instagram, here are a few tips. And the important thing is to create a schedule, a routine that you can follow. I recommend you posting it at least once a day because Instagram is one of those platforms where it doesn't hurt to post a lot of pictures. On Facebook, you wanna keep it to about four to five posts a week just because it's a completely different platform. On Instagram, you want to post that every day. If that's something that you don't think you can do, try to post once every two days. Whatever you choose, do stick to it because people are gonna start following you and they want to see that consistency of posts. Here's a few things that you can post on Instagram. Discounts and giveaways. You can make exclusive promotions for your Instagram followers. For example, you can do a giveaway in which you ask them to tag a friend that would like to benefit from that service that you're offering or that discount. Or you can make a promotion in which if they follow your Instagram page, they get a discount next time they come in. All they have to do is show you that they followed you. Try to be relevant. If you find out about a hot topic, for example, if everyone in your timeline is talking about spring collars or haircuts to do in the summer, talk about those things. Those things are hot topics, and if you use the correct hashtags in your posts, you're gonna attract a whole lot of people. Hashtags are really important, and Instagram gives you a chance to find hashtags that can relate to your business. What I recommend you doing is use hashtags that are local. For example, hashtag your city. And also use hashtags that are relevant to your business. Hashtag beauty, hashtag photo of the day. Hashtag nails, hashtag hair. Just search a little bit on what hashtags are the most popular for your business and it's really easy to find and stick to those. Another way in which you can use your Instagram is to promote your followers and your clients. If a follower or a client posts a picture of their service after they come to you, make sure you go there and comment or even use a repost feature to get that post in your timeline. So that way you're also encouraging your clients to showcase your business for you. Show your strengths, show everything that you're doing that is making you stand out. Showcase your services, showcase your spa or salon. Take pictures of your lobby when you do some decoration for Mother's Day or for Valentine's Day. Just remember to have visually stunning graphics or photos 
and whatever you decide to do make it consistent so that your followers can always go back and see new things and want to follow you because you're always posting these amazing pictures that they really want to like do you have any questions about instagram ask us in the comments and we'll be happy to help you grow your business Thank <laughs> you.